Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Charlene at Curls by Charlene. Today I'm going to use the Cantu Define and Shine Custard. My hair is nice and clean. I washed it yesterday with Maui Moisture Hair Care Detoxifying and Volcanic Ash Shampoo and Conditioner. I'll put a link below so you can see which ones I used. Now, this is the whole reason for the video. I am going to style my hair with the Tangle Teaser. There you go, this is what I'm using. It's pretty fancy, looks quite nice. Um, it's got long and short bristles. And this brush, oh, there's another one. I have two. So, I can't remember where I got this one from. But um, the one I'm actually using, I got from Primark for only two pounds. I'm sure it was two pounds. If not, it was five pounds at the most. This brush is cheap, cheap, cheap. And it is amazing for detangling. This product is quite a runny consistency. Yeah, it would, it would spill out in seconds. There you go quite slimy as well but apparently it says it's got good hold you can see the products almost finished but well <laughs> I haven't used it in quite some time so I thought why not let's finish the product also the great thing about Cantu products is this one has no sulfates no silicones no parabens or mineral oil so it's curly girl friendly and curly girl approved obviously um, so I started off with re-wetting my hair, even though it was wet, my hair seems to dry at an alarming rate <laughs> when uh, it has no products. But when it's got products, ay, the drying process increases like triple, quadruple. I'm so used to doing the raking method, as you can see. Constantly raking, raking, but that's what I'm going to do anyway. So the process of applying the product is re-wet the hair then rake in the product then use the styling brush so the tangle teaser or detangler brush i do feel like it's a bit slippery when you're applying the products so whoever's making this brush you could put a grip on the handle you know something like that to ease the application process now i was already feeling like there was frizz so i thought i need another product so i used the extreme professional styling gel it smells amazing like you gotta get this one it's the blue one uh i don't know how else to explain it but it's got extremely good hold so i just applied very little not much like very little to each section because i was thinking mm, I don't know if this is gonna hold this product by itself, but maybe I didn't give it the benefit of the doubt, you know? I must say, this brush just glides through my hair. Those tangles and knots are almost non-existent. Actually, are non-existent. <sighs> Detangling and then just brushing through. But that's why I was a bit confused as well on whether I needed more product or not because it was so soft I was like is this normal for my hair to feel so soft was it the combination of the product and the brush or is this brush doing its job like big ups I'm so glad I have this brush I mean look at this I detangle first from the bottom up and it just glides it just glides I know my face looks like, but honestly, within seconds, those knots are out. I did notice I could use bigger sections when brushing it out, which saves a lot of time. With my hair type, which is type 3C, 4A, like, so the smaller the sections, the better usually. If you have tighter curls, smaller sections, always better. If you have looser curls, bigger sections and then you get bigger clumps but as you can see it does clump the curls together a lot more than i was expecting making drying time a little 
longer I would say but there are some ringlets I noticed and some S shapes so a mixture of both so I was really excited to see what this would turn out like because if you do the raking method it comes out with more of a ringlet rather than S shape so you know you have those ringlets it's more my hair type that's going to show me what curl is going to come out but with the brush hello we got mixtures it also looks very different when you use a different brush so like the Denman brush or um, a detangler I know this is a detangler but there's different types of brushes so you can definitely see using different techniques or different brushes makes a difference to how your hair will look I am using sections all over my hair as you can see I'm fighting with the hair to stay out of the way I don't know if any of you find that but for me it's just so much easier because then huh, it takes too long you might want to know how long did it take for me to style from from when I re-wet it to the end you know just the styling process obviously not the wash and go not the whole process but the styling with the brush uh, can you see the curls they tend to clump more um, but they are separated but they are clumping together which was why I seem to be worried a bit that we're just going to have clumpy curls and I'm going to have to separate them for ages. But just wait and see. <sighs> so back to answering the question I posed. How long did it take me? I would say half an hour, 20 minutes to half an hour just to do the styling process. Which is generally how long it takes me. I mean, I'd say it's slightly longer than just raking, obviously, but yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a much longer process of styling. I did feel that there was going to be quite a bit of frizz. So every time I looked, I thought, oh, is it because the curls are so clumped together or is it the brush? Like... Have I not added enough product? Should I add more water? Do I need more styler? That was my only gripe, shall I say, with this brush because I was not sure how it was gonna turn out. My curls, they looked defined, but then I also saw frizz. And then I was thinking, mm, do I need more product? Uh, do I need more water? Uh, do I need to brush it again? Uh, that was the only thing. I just, to my eye, it didn't look right. But you shall see the results. This brush does make life so much easier. My hand was just gliding. Like, look at that. It just glides and I can go over it and look at it and go over it and look at it. How do you think it's going to turn out? <laughs> Leave a comment. I want to know. Yay, we've finished the styling process. Hello, curls, they were popping. I was happy actually. I was quite happy with how it looked. On to the drying time. So how long did it take for me to dry? I started drying my hair at 10.38 a.m., about somewhere around there. Then I decided to air dry until about midday, so until about 12.20. So I just wanted to show you I went to clean the brush, okay? Let's see, it's pretty clean now. It's dripping of water. This is all the hair that came out. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Usually, I have way more shedding, but this brush, hello. Mm -hmm. Look at this, that's it from styling my whole head okay i'm now going to end this video here basically i'm going to do a part two where you can see the results i'll show you how long it took to dry and what it looks like watch my part two and i'll see you there thanks for watching curls by charlene um, like and subscribe to my channel 
and I'll see you in my results video.